Well, I'm sorry I'm a bit later this morning. It's nearly 11 o'clock this uh, blustery Tuesday. Um, I think you'll forgive me for not having a, an early Wyatt's walk, but it was torrential rain and a howling gale at uh, half past five, so I decided against it. Plus, uh, the night had been interrupted a couple of times. Uh, Mr George, our long-haired, black-stroke, brown cat, um, had brought in another mouse. And then, later this morning, um, arrived back indoors, me having cleared up the... Uh, disposed of the corpse, so to speak, uh, came in looking like a wet mop. So I had to chase him around the kitchen trying to dry him with kitchen towel. He's now spread out in my windowsill here in the study. He's a bigger star of the, uh, the Wyatt's Walk uh, YouTube videos than I am. Um, I just wanted to draw your attention to a couple of things on the homepage this morning. I did an interview yesterday with Councillor Joanna Wright. She's the Cabinet Member for Transport Services and also one of our local councillors here in Lambridge Ward. I live in Larkhall, just in case uh, you don't know that, but I'm not giving you the street or house number in case you um, come and bang loudly on my door. Um, Joanna is tasked with uh, overseeing the introduction of uh, Bath's Clean Air Zone. Uh, she's also been responsible for uh, ensuring social distancing uh, in our shopping areas uh, during this COVID-19 crisis and has come in for a great deal of uh, what I think is unfair criticism for just doing a job and making people's health her number one priority. Anyway, as interviews go, um, she was both honest and passionate. Uh, Let me do my job is the heading, and I really do recommend that uh, you listen to what she has to say. You might not agree with everything, but uh, hear her out. Um, the other thing today is news of the reopening of Brilsey. Brilsey. Everybody calls it Brilsey. What is Brilsey, you're asking yourself? Well, Brilsley, which is B-R-L-S-I, stands for the Bath Royal Literary and Scientific Institution. It's a grand sounding name, but they are anything but grand and stuffy. An exciting place, which is uh, which has announced its reopening on September the 1st with a really splendid exhibition called Take Five. I've whetted your appetite, so, you know, look around the home page and uh, see what you think. I will try and get out uh, tomorrow and take my early morning walk. So um, have a look tomorrow uh, to see what I have to say. And uh, hopefully I will not be talking about another mouse corpse he's got no teeth. Normally they're just dropped alive and I spend an hour chasing the poor little rodent around with a glass and a piece of paper trying to trap it and uh, put it out again. So um, George is being a bit brutal at the moment and uh, I don't approve. But anyway, enough ramblings for this Tuesday. Um, I hope you enjoy it despite the weather. It's only weather.